Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Good morning, greetings to all of us Ladies and gentlemen, directors of subsidiaries unit heads All of employees of the Kebonagung group Whom I love and I am proud of wherever you are First of all, let us express our gratitude to the presence of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Almighty God, because for His grace we are still given the opportunity to work in the Kebonagung group to more or less contribute the, to the economic progress of the nation and state of Indonesia. Today, November 26th, 2020 Kebonagung Sugar Factory which was born with the name PT Kebonagung has turned 60 years old is it long enough egg for a company as well as an egg that makes PT Kebonagung more mature due to various challenge and obstacle being forged since its inception but thank God that until now PT Kebon Agung is still firmly established as one of the respected BUMNs with a very significant business development. Kebon Agung Sugar Factory has experienced ups and downs of performance from year to year in line with changes in external and internal factors that evict company performance during its journey. PT Kebon Agung owns earned a net profit of RP 270 billion because it was supported by the high ceiling price of sugar at that time. I'm proud of the director of subsidiaries, unit manager and all employees of the Kebonagung group. Reflecting on past experience where PT Kebonagung has experienced the best and worst of time. I'm sure that we are all capable of learning and taking a lesson for future improvement. As the president, director of PT Kebon Agung, along with other members of the board of director, I'm determined to be more careful in managing and developing business. As I said at the beginning, I carried out the mandate as the president, director of PT Kebon Agung, I want PT Kebon Agung to return to its kita, namely as an investment holding company with a focus on development, business control, asset management, and finance. This is intended so that the supervision carried out on the subsidiaries, both from the operational and business development side is able to strengthen the company's competitiveness and be more careful in the capturing business opportunities that will be developed. Meanwhile, with considerable asset ownership strength, I hope that the optimization of this asset can serve as a new core business pillar that will be able to accelerate the increase in company performance in the future. Although currently, Kebon Agung Group has quit a big problem in the financial sector, I'm sure that with hard work and innovative love and support from all level of management and employees at the Kebon Agung Group, this problem will be able to be resolved properly. Ladies and gentlemen, Director of the subsidiaries unit manager and all employees of the Kebonagung group whom I love and are proud of. There is only one key word so that we can survive and develop in the future, namely conditiveness. Management experts say that the era ahead is the era of hyper competition in the trade and distribution sector so that the Kebonagung group has high competitiveness. We are required to sell product at lower price. With excellent quality and customer service, 
request for other business pillar but in the agro sector and pharmaceutical uh, or medical device we are required to have high productivity low HPP as well as greater market share from year to years without hard work creative and innovative thinking from all elements it's impossible to achieve the demands to increase the company competitiveness therefore i urge all management and employees of the kebun agung group to always work hard be disciplined develop a creative and innovative mindset and make work in their respective companies a field of worship dear kebun agung employees one very important thing that is the key so that we can work calmly focus motivate and productively is family support for me family is is inseparable from the success of employees at work therefore i encourage business unit leaders in the kebun agung environment to facilitate positive activities that are usually driven by unit leaders particularly those related to improving education social welfare and the family economy i base this on the consideration that the company ability is very limited to be able to accommodate all activity with social dimension in the company environment finally let us express our gratitude in welcoming the 60th anniversary of the kebon agung by working harder smart and more sincerely for the resurrection and glory of our beloved kebon agung happy anniversary of 60 pt kebon agung thanks wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh